next one uh, I used to get into the finals at the Abu Dhabi Pro 2010. Uh, fought a really good, well now black belt. Um, so match started here, we ended up getting grips. Classic way to pull is to go foot on the hip, fall to your shoulders. Don't want to fall this way. And as I do, notice this leg is straight, this leg is bent, that relationship switches. So the left leg bends, the right leg straightens. Now there is, yes, there is an arm bar right here. But the higher level my opponent, the less common that, that finish is going to be. So once I get to the side, I like to swing back to Delahiva. Now Richie had Richie had good leg position, his knees kind of pointed out, so I wasn't able to get a grip or a delahiva hook. The rule is my foot needs to be at least by his butt, if, or his butt. My butt has to be by, if not on his foot, to get a good delahiva hook. So same as we did before, we lift our hips and we move ourselves over. Here. Now we have a delahiva hook. Now, this is probably the move I've gotten more in tournament than any other at least the sweet part. We're going to stretch our partner out here. Notice my elbows don't come tight to the body. They flare high and wide. But I'm kicking strong at the same time. So I'm pulling strong as I'm pushing strong here. Now the move is this. Here. That's actually not the move, but that's the, that's the setup for the move. It's a balloon sweep, tomonage, basic. Very simple, anytime someone is standing over you. And what I like about this sweep is it teaches you a lot of important uh, concepts in sweeping. First, that push-pull. Look at his energy come into me when I just release the legs. But what happens, what happened in 2010, we come here, the guy, yeah, he's gonna wanna post here. Now he's, all, look, he's already putting weight on this hand. Here, he might keep it on me, he might put it on the ground, doesn't matter. From here, my left leg comes off and swings around to my right while my right leg bends. Now, we'll often in this move end up a little stacked. Okay. Uh, stacking a little more. So the problem is finishing when we're already stacked. I already made some mistakes if I allowed him to get this deep on me. So one very simple way to get out of a stack, you have to control that wrist here this hand goes, not third arm, it's the fourth arm. And I spin myself out from under him. Okay. I would prefer that my shin were here, because it allows me to kick his head under a bit. But if it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. What I do want from here now is to grab, ideally, his far ankle, palm up, pull it over my face, and now we're here. So we get grips. We can fake it if we want. We can boom. We're here to the side. We come back to El Hiva. The key to the balloon sweep, and this is again, I've taught seminars 30-40% 30, of which were just the balloon sweep. The key is this stretch. Here. Okay. Not here. Why not here? Because I can't go much further than this now. What I want is to pull him head over head. When someone is head over head, they become very light. If you're new to the sweep, I would just practice that. Let them off to one side. Come up, and what's cool about this is when you come up, notice this knee is off the ground, right? So that's your natural finishing position. Pull up strong. Shoot this in. Oh, that's tight. I'm fine. Yeah, it's good stuff. And always, <laughs> A uh, general rule, I never want to lie back without the leg already over his face because he'll sit up. So to make that easy, I lean my head over his far knee. Now this leg is very light. And we can finish right here. Right? Okay. So a great finish for you, even if you don't finish them upside down. We're here. Boom, boom. Here, here. Stretch him out. 
pull him up, he posts, I let him off, and boom. I'm stuck, no problem. Spin under, grab the far leg if you can, if you can't, start with the close one, and we're here. Anyone need to see it again? Yes. First time. <laughs> One of the issues that we run into, we, we're not going to focus too much on this after this. So, is I'm trying. So don't let me pull your head over my head. So when they've got good base, now there's no way I'm going to just pull him. Even if I stretch him, don't let me. I'm not going to pull him under on top of me. But what I can do is pull myself under him. So it's easier to see from spider. So what I want, and this is a great place to see what my arms are doing. Let me do the sweep. Yes, sir. Watch what my arms do in the classic balloon sweep. How, look how far they came overhead. Look at his head now. If I had stopped here, which is very common, look at our head relationship. Mm -hmm. We're here. Now if he wants to touch his hands to the ground. We don't, we just, as he's about to, we just create this little rainbow, take it away from him. Okay. So where, this next detail, he's not letting me pull him over. I pull myself under. And now this hand motion continues, and now we're back in the park. Let's do it on two, one, two. Here, now I'm here. I'm actually looking for this one, it doesn't matter that it's there. So we're here, I drop that off and I swing up. So, so what am I doing? You're kind of rotating the guy, old school, okay. helicopter armor, which is more articulate. But just stand up. Oh, just so drop put, me put, into put, it. Put weight, right, put weight on, boom, that helps me rotate. Right. I'm actually not dropping. That foot stays under the hip, and your weight pushing down is what rotates. Me. Okay. I'm going to try that for you. Now you kick, now let the foot drop that way. Yes, but... Yes, now, when it drops, keep me on it. Keep me on it. Boom! Oh, I see. So, that it, it influences your rotation. Okay. Does that make sense? So, may I see you do it on the uh, So this weight is what inverted. Uh, so is there any details that you really like when it comes to your oh, double heel hook? Yeah. Like are you, are you, how do you there fight no much? Uh, okay. the, the so, so say he's, he's on a bad angle for you. Right. I, if I, my butt was here, that would be a good angle. So, whatever my grips, mm -hmm. I give a slight sit up, and I lean to the side. Now I lift my hips, and I move the hips to the side. Now look how easy that angle is, notwithstanding that he may actually have that, right? So, you're actually stripping to the side. You're actually I have to. Here, I won't have the angle. Right. Here, I have a perfect angle. And so there are many ways to move to the side, but that, I need to move there. Or, if he moves it outside, a lot, often we get tunnel vision, we're like, man, I gotta... That's here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see. Right? His, He's opening me here, he's giving me that. At very least for this, but this also very, leads. That's actually, that's very Well, that's what I love about this, especially as a teacher, is this allows me to teach even not only lumber jacks and all that, but boxing, but teaching. Look how easy a drill that. Boom. 
Whatever I want. So it's, it's like a bridge position. I find. 